Yo voy a hacer una vida de él. Hoy estamos en un nuevo juego. Y bueno, con la continuación del juego que ya habíamos subido, que es el juego de Trio of Ten. Pero esta vez en la temporada 2, porque los que se acuerdan, pues habrán sabido de que prácticamente terminó de una forma un poco abrupta. Así que sin nada más que decir, les mando que este video les vaya a gustar. Comencemos. Como pueden ver, acá tenemos toda la temporada 2. Así que primero el efecto de Kevin. Por lo que vi sigue sin estar en español para los que no estén. Vean gameplay, no hay nada. En controles evidentemente pues las mismas que la vez pasada. En video no hay nada tampoco. Y en audio tampoco. Así que pues con este minuto después de haciendo eh, nada, así, comencemos con el video eh, que Vamos a intentar no hacer videos tan largos esta vez, así que espero que no les moleste. Va a ser posiblemente como un video de 10, máximo 20 minutos por ahí. Al menos eso espero. No quiero que pase otro juego que les vi y ya me lo que pasó lo que quería bueno a ver empecemos what do you want we had an agreement that agreement didn't mention half the crap going on in there this game will be a hit <laughs> no more sacrificing interns they must never make a good game dude the number went down they don't need me for that I don't think you understand You have a particular set of skills. We expect you to use those skills. On the phone, everyone! Something terrible has happened. My computer is missing! Gone, abducted, purloined, and filched! It's vanished! Kevin, what are you yelling about, dude? Computers don't just vanish. Oh, but this one did. Do you remember where I last saw it? What? No. Hey, Midge, you look exhausted. Have you seen my computer? Huh? Oh, I had trouble sleeping. Your computer's missing? That's just, uh, too bad. Look, it might not be stolen. Maybe one of the engineers needed it for something. Well, I needed it for something. Like, everything. I can't do anything without it. Really? You can't do any of your tasks without a computer? No, Ben. It's the source of my power. A designer's computer is like their security blanket. I named mine Ralph, and I need it. And I use it to write things, too. So? Use a whiteboard. Hey, what's that? Huh? Oh, it's the power strip. Must have popped out of the outlet when they took the computer. You say power strip, I say clue. What? Sh sure, sure. Look, Ben, whiteboards don't count. Everyone knows productivity is measured by how many right clicks you make. I'm just saying, it's better than nothing, you know? Let Jeb and Francine track down your PC. I'm gonna solve this mystery. We can't tell Francine. She's out to get me, Ben. She's not out to get you, and you have to report this to her. Leave it to me, team. Well, I can't. She's not at her desk, see? Mm -mm, no excuses. She's in the kitchenette installing the new coffee machine. Nice. What? Never fear, Detective Pilot is on the case. Oh, uh, good luck. A good technical artist is a lot like being a good detective. Let's sniff out some clues. The clock has stopped at 2.30 a.m. It was plugged into the same power strip as Kevin's computer. Hmm, useful information. That power strip was a clue. I should look for more. Clues, that is, uh, not power strips. Look, maybe you're just getting an upgrade. They can't upgrade me. I have too many browser tabs open and I need them all. And there's tons you can do with a whiteboard. No, my eyes can't focus on anything that isn't backlit. I've tried. These water bottles are definitely not a clue. I should look elsewhere. Aha! A single can of orange soda. This is definitely just, uh... Trash.
You know, we never do anything with this meeting group. I should do something about that someday. Amazingly, no one has found my stash of ketchup yet. There might be a clue in the game. This trash can looks like someone tripped over it. Perhaps someone failing a stealth check? Perhaps someone leaving a clue? Joan, you're normally the first one in. Notice anything odd today? Well, I did find an empty soda can on the floor over by the kitchenette. That could be a clue or... Uh, no, wait. That was me. I know Mitch has been here a while, but I'll always think of this as Javier's desk. Oh, you're telling me. It's not every day a co-worker spontaneously combusts. I do miss that guy. I wonder if there are any clues in Viper's mini fridge. Yeah, don't even think about it, Pylon. Uh, Viper? Do you know where Kevin's computer went? Don't know. Don't care. This is Mosley Sinister. She looks like she's covered in pure evil. Sweet. 
But don't let her looks fool you. She's also evil on the inside. I'm going to find this thief, Midge. You just watch me. Uh, maybe Kevin just misplaced it. My nose of intuition says otherwise. Justice will not be denied. Um, cool. Ah, it looks like Sally might have been hopping around again. Something riled her up. Microwave is the smart person's way of cooking. Or lazy person's way. Or both. Hey, hey, Francine! Kevin's computer was stolen. Will you tell Kevin he's going to have to wait? I'm busy. Don't worry. I'm on the case. Oh, joy. I feel so relieved. There sure are a lot of ducks around, but only the star ducks are special. Julie, did you hear anyone break into the office last night? Go away! Good morning, New England. Welcome back to the Dice Pack. Hey, Breeze, did you get me that drink? Hey, Timothy, my man! Can you help me find this missing computer? I'm sorry. I can't do that. Francine picked this up back at that wacky store. I guess you never know when you might need a surfboard. Hey, intern, you hear anyone break in last night? Uh, no, but did you know the fridge likes to hop around on its own sometimes? Oh, that's just Sally, the office tentacle. She lives in there. Hmm, the thief completely ignored this old gaming machine. Curious. I know Francie likes to buy in bulk, but do we really need a bulk order of hammers? This window looks like it was forced open with a crowbar. Hmm, a clue. Let's finish looking for clues in here first. Hey, uh, boss, I think we had a break in last night. What? Oh, I knew it! Someone's trying to spy on my money ideas. You can tell Bruce he can have my money ideas when he can pry them out of my cold, dead fingers. I don't even know anyone named Bruce. I'm sure there are no clues in the dumbwaiter. I don't like to get too close to this door. This is the back door to the studio. It leads to a lobby area. I'll check that out later. There's so many footprints here. This is definitely a clue.
Huh, that was a lot of clues. Let's piece together what I have so far. Okay, so they came in the window, left the footprints as they crossed the studio, went to grab Kevin's computer, but Sally surprised them, and they ran, yanking the whole power strip out of the wall and tripping over the trash can as they fled. But which way did they go? Are you seriously trying to find this thief, Pylon? Of course. Someone must fight on the side of justice here. Shouldn't the police handle this? It's probably some random break-in. They could be a hundred miles away by now. They could. That's why you'll have to help me. I... what? Quick, Midge. What skills do you have? I can animate. No good. I mean the kind of skills you don't put on a resume. The real world stuff. Huh? Are you flush with cash? Can you pay off an informant? What informant? I mean... No. Do you have any contacts with the underworld? N no, not really. Can you fist fight? Huh? I'm sorry, Midge. Every member of the party has to pull their weight. That's the rule. Fine, okay. I can, uh, I can pick locks. Really? Cool. You're in, lock picker. I lauded Midge. Detectives at large, open for business. Let's go check outside. Francine? What do you want, Kevin? Well, my computer may or may not have been stolen. Yeah, I heard you shouting about it. And? And I can't do any of my tasks. And Ben thinks you can just magically design on a whiteboard instead. Oh, you know, back in the day, we used to do all our designing on whiteboards before we ever touched the computer. Oh, were you waiting for them to be invented? No, but there was nothing quite like grabbing a hot cup of coffee and working through a problem on the whiteboard. Mm, yeah, that won't work because I don't drink coffee. You should try it. Francine, how's the coffee machine looking? Almost ready. I think it'll make hot chocolate, too, for the Kevins of the world. The milk is good for my bones. All right, I, I could drink coffee if I wanted. I'll believe that when I see it. Anyway, you'll need to fill out some paperwork about your computer. No can do. Like I said, I can't do anything without my computer. <sighs> without it, I am lost. Well, when you decide to grow up, I'll have the form printed out for you. I might even have some crayons for you to fill it out with. Joan, the coffee machine is ready. Enjoy. We will enjoy it, both of us, because I'm going to have some coffee too, just like other grown-ups. So, like I was saying, you don't need a computer, or even the coffee, really. Just using the whiteboard feels right. Sure, sure, using a whiteboard makes you right, got it. But I could totally drink coffee, and I'm going to. Okay. And I will drink it. Okay. Right now. Uh, okay. Can you teach me how to drink coffee? Aha, another footprint. This thief needs to level up their sneak skill. Maybe they just wanted to look behind the bushes. Why would they do that? We know they want a computer. There are no computers back here. It might not even be the same person's footprint. Well, I found a footprint like this inside. Looks like a size 12 sneaker. Ward soles, but with a crisscross pattern. That's a pretty big foot, so I bet our thief is a pretty tall person. <sighs> this was obviously the point of entry, but not the point of exit. There are no footprints pointing the other way. Fortunately, I know where they went. Oh, you do? Come along, Midge. Ben, 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 Ben! What? Coffee is wonderful. Okay, can I get back to work now? I feel the fire of inspiration deep within my lions. There's so much to do. I need that whiteboard. Uh, there were like a bunch in the meeting room. Ah, of course. Excellent. Bye. <laughs> Francine! I thought you said you were gonna buy the office a new coffee maker thing. I did. It's right next to the sink. Hmm. Maybe it's very small. Is it camouflaged? Huh? No. I just finished installing it this morning. It should be all ready to go. Ah, uh, what now? Who took the coffee machine? Huh. Now I have to go out for coffee instead. This just ruins my whole afternoon. Thanks for the ruined afternoon, Francine. It was here. It was installed. Well, it's not now. You know when things aren't how I expect them, it leads to golfing. Huh? If you have to go out for coffee, you might as well get the dry cleaning since it's next door. And if you're in errand mode, then you should stop by the bank and the pharmacy, too. But why stop there? Eventually, you end up at the old country club for a few practice holes. And damn it, Francine, things have got to be a certain way or I end up playing golf. This is your fault. Ugh. When I find whoever did this... I'm gonna shove that coffee machine so far up there. Uh, let me ask around, Francine. I think I know who's behind this. You let me know the second you figure out who did this. They'll wish they'd never been born. So, okay, out the back door of the studio. 
Why do you think they went this way? Deduction, my dear Midge. Why would someone come in and steal a computer and then not go out the way they came? I, I give up. Tell me. Because they saw something in the parking lot back there. Perhaps the security guard who makes their rounds at 2.30 a.m. every night. You have that memorized? They don't call me Detective Pilot for nothing. 2.30 a.m. is precisely when our thief was in the studio, according to the stopped clock. Okay, fine. Let's say they went out this way. There are probably, like, a hundred different hallways and office suites and lobbies in this complex. It's massive. Yep. So they're long gone. Might as well give up here. Ha! The thief would like that, but they don't know who they're up against. I will systematically examine every corner of this place if I have to. Okay. It'll be fun. Let's go! What in the world? Ah, Ben. Just the person I wanted to see. Kevin? Why'd you take the coffee machine out of the kitchenette? Ben, these whiteboards were a great idea. My design work has never been stronger. Kevin, the coffee machine? I moved it over here so I could drink faster. Have a cup. All are welcome so long as they seek truth and wisdom. I think you've had enough for the both of us. My spreadsheets now contain spreadsheets, which contain spreadsheets. We have reached design inception. We have reached, uh... Deception. Are you vibrating? Of course, I'm vibrating with excitement. Can I tell you a secret? This place is a shrine of power. I've been working on a tabletop prototype of surfing with sharks, and I need you to play it, Ben. Huh? What? Okay. Bueno, y hasta aquí, con parece ser 22 minutos y un poco más de grabación, espero que el video les haya gustado, sin nada más que decir, y esperando pues eso, chao y nos vemos hasta la próxima.